Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia, but you can call me Libby. And on this channel, I talk all things brands, beauty and personal development. So as you can see, it's a little bit different in this video today. And I wanted to make it a little bit different because, you know, I am going to be talking about something that is a little bit more sentimental, that is a little bit more personalized. So grab yourself a drink and let's talk. Okay, so as you can tell from the title of this video, I am gonna be talking about self-love and embracing who you are and embracing your body. As some of you may know, last year I went and I got my breast augmentation, so I did a little bit of body altering myself. And one thing that I have come to realize is that over on my YouTube channel, a lot of you guys like the content that I put out about that, like the content that I am showing when it comes to my breast augmentation journey and what facts I am able to provide for you. So the idea of coming up with this video today was because this morning I was listening to a podcast, love to start my day with some form of personal development. And the podcast creator that I was listening to this morning is called Julie Solomons. I'll go ahead and leave the episode down in the description box below for you so you can check it out yourself. And, you know, as a content creator, it really got me thinking, what information do I know? What advice do I have in this aspect of YouTube that I'm able to really niche down on and provide for you guys? You know, when it comes to me making my videos, I love makeup, hair, fashion, all that good stuff, as well as plastic surgery. And it really made me think all of these aspects are within the bracket of self-improvement, appearance, embracing your body, your likes, your dislikes. And it just really made me think somebody out there, someone watching this, wishing for me to say this, is waiting for this video today. Just a little bit about me and my experience that I had last year you know i went through a whole thing where i had shaved off my head i had plastic surgery and it's so sad to say not a lot of people like that not a lot of people that i didn't know not a lot of people that i know very personally did not like that and because of that it really put me in a mindset of imposter syndrome why is it that what i want about my body nobody else really wants and honestly it all boils down to the fact that it does not matter what anybody else wants all that matters is what you want because at the end of the day it is your body it is your thought process it is your life and if no one accepts that, <laughs> that's a personal problem. I truly believe that not just on, you know, a plastic surgery aspect of things, being able to love yourself and, you know, fill your cup before you fill others, it is extremely important. And to be honest, not a lot of people speak about it that much. And when you come to the realization of accepting that and accepting the fact that what you want does actually matter, the road is so much clearer, okay? Prior to me having my surgery and doing all the things that I'm doing now when it comes to content creation, all that good stuff, you know, I was working my nine to five, and you know just plodding along appearing to the world in you know the natural form so everyone can accept who i am when really deep down inside i was like this is a ripoff <laughs> where's my refund <laughs> being able to you know embrace who you are embrace your body it is an extremely big deal personally one of the things that i have always had a hard time with is my weight and you know everyone looks at me and they're like oh your weight looks great like you look great your body looks great but in the back of my mind i'm just like Ugh. i've always had a hard time of actually keeping on weight and over the past couple of years i've really had to accept who i am and what i look like and what size my body is and what i can and cannot control so it's better to embrace your body, embrace your thought process, embrace your personality instead of having, you know, like a negative outlook about yourself. And I guess that is really where the plastic surgery came in for me. It was something that 
I did not like about my body, me personally, and I just did it. Not a lot of people liked it, but at the end of the day, it's not their body. So I just really wanted to be able to express that to you because I know that there's someone out there that wants to hear this. So here's a couple of pointers that I like to go through when I am having those moments of self-doubt and a little bit of lack of love for myself. The first thing is to take some time out of your day to just be by yourself. I know that sounds a little bit sad, but sometimes being around too many people you can pick up on others' energy, not even realizing it. And just like how, you know, like a domino effect, if one person is feeling some sort of way, that can also inflict how you are feeling too. So sometimes just being by yourself, regrouping, connecting to yourself, definitely can help. Another thing that I like to do as well is some form of act of self-care. So I'll have a nice bubble bath, I'll do my nails, I'll go on a walk. You know, something that is gonna kind of pick up my spirits and give back to me. And lastly, I also think it's very important to put yourself first. You know, I wear many hats. I'm a content creator, I'm a mum, I'm a wife. So there are times where I'm just like, I can't do all of these things unless I take care of me. Without me taking care of myself, I can't provide for everybody else. And that can also go under the bracket of plastic surgery as well. If there is some form of surgery or some sort of altercation that you wanna make to your body, you have to put yourself first. You're gonna have friends, family members come to you with their aspect of the situation. But like I said before, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. What matters is what you think. What matters is, are you willing to invest in yourself, your sanity, your body in order to feel comfortable? So I really hope that you take this with a grain of salt, that you kind of can understand where I'm coming from when it comes to this subject, because personal care, self-love, personal development, it is very important, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally. And it's something that everyone should be aware of. So I really hope that this video helped you today. I hope that it helps somebody out there. I definitely felt called to say something about it. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked this kind of content today. I'll be leaving all of my social media links down in the description box below. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening. Go and do something nice for yourself today. Seriously, just go and do something nice, you know? Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you back here next time. Bye.